Hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Nisha and for today's video we will be doing an eyeshadow tutorial so I'm super excited to film this video I'm gonna be using a new palette I haven't tried this palette out before but I feel like this palette is right up my alley in terms of like colors in terms of shades so the tutorial for the eyeshadow look that we'll be doing is the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette this palette is so so pretty guys let me open it for you so I can show you guys it is literally a full-on neutrals palette so this is what the colors look like they are so beautiful guys if you guys know me you guys know that I absolutely love neutral colors like it's literally everything that I wear I feel like you can dress it up you can dress it down you can literally wear it to like class to work like it's so easy to manipulate these colors for like whatever occasion that you have so I am super excited to give this palette a try because I currently do own her two Morphe palettes the big white palettes that she did collaborate with Morphe. I have those and I absolutely love the colors. I love the pigments of the eyeshadows. I feel like they're very creamy with not a lot of fallout so I'm super excited to see what this palette actually has to bring to the table. So before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to my channel and you guys do love seeing videos like this. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you are notified of a new video and let's get Get right into the eyeshadow tutorial so I did a close-up so you guys are able to see the eyeshadow a whole lot better so as you guys can see I already had prepped my skin I already applied the foundation I already applied the concealer I already applied the powder I actually am using the Kat Von D good apple foundation if you guys have seen I already posted a review on this on my channel I will link that video down below in the description box for you guys but this foundation is amazing so that's what I prep my skin with and I just realized I definitely forgot to do my brows so let me quickly do that off camera now that we have the eyebrows finally completed now we can finally go in with our eyeshadow so first I'm going to go in with my NARS eyeshadow primer I'm just going to quickly prep my eyes for eyeshadow So now that our eyes are nicely prepped, I'm just going to apply some baking powder right underneath my eyes to catch any fallout. And this is also going to help to brighten our under eyes a lot better. So for this, I'm just going to be using my Huda Beauty baking powder in the shade Knafa. And I'm just going to use this just to bake my under eyes. Okay, so now that our eyes are fully prepped and ready for eyeshadow, now we can finally go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. So for the first shade, I'm going to go in with a transition shade. So I think I'm going to go in with Good Vibes, which is this color right over here. I'm just going to apply that right on the crease. Doing so, I'm just going to take a nice fluffy brush. This is my Morphe E28 brush. I'm just going to apply this right on my crease. Okay, I gotta say, applying this, it blends so well and I don't see any fallout with the shade. So far, it's going really well. I'm actually pretty shocked. So it's blending really nicely in the eye. And I also really love the pigment as well. It's very pigmented, but it's so easily to blend. So now that we have the crease color on, I gotta say, the blend of this is amazing. I actually really love it. To be honest, I was expecting a lot more fallout, but I'm actually surprised there wasn't a lot of fallout blending this onto my eyes. So now I'm just going to go in with a deeper shade for the outer corners. So for this, I'm going to go in with Book, which is this nice kind of like caramelly darker brown color. I'm just going to put this on the outer crease. create kind of like a halo effect today for the eyeshadow trying to do something a little bit different so I'm just gonna put this on the inner corner as well just to deepen that inner corner a little bit and then deepen the outer corner and I gotta say guys I absolutely love the blend of these shadows they are actually really nice quality. I feel like these shadows are a lot better than the original Jaclyn Hill palettes, the first and second edition by Morphe, the big white ones. I absolutely love how these are blending onto the eyes. So I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye.
Then I'm just going to go back in with the crease blending brush. I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with a darker color just to deepen the look a little bit more and just add a little bit more of like a smoky effect. So I'm going to go in with the shade Cinnamon Roll, which is this really nice deep dark like coffee brown I'm just gonna apply that and deepen the look just a little bit on the both the outer corners and I'm gonna be using my makeup by Mario e3 brush which is kind of very nice like tapered blending brush just to get right into those edges so I'm just gonna take that brush I'm just going to apply it right on the outer corners of the eye Ooh, this is a really nice dark brown guys a little goes a very long way with this dark brown like it is so pigmented so I'm just gonna go back in with that same brush that we use for the shade booked uh, without any excess product added I'm just gonna take this and just blend out that brown just to make sure everything is nice and blended and cohesive and for this I'm going to be using unidirectional blending so unidirectional blending is basically blending in one direction so I'm not going back and forth I'm just going in one direction just making sure that the colors don't mesh together but there's no harsh lines Okay, so now that that's done, now I'm just going to go in with a nice shimmer shade. So I think I'm going to do a nice kind of like a gold color because, you know, me and I love gold. So I think I'm going to go in with this shade right over here. And this shade is called Birthday Suit. So I'm going to go in with that. I'm just going to apply that right on the center of my lids. So I'm just going to take a shader brush. So I'm just going to be taking the Makeup by Morrow, the E5. And this is a very nice tiny shader brush, which is going to be really nice just to get into like the middle of the lid on my eyes. And I'm just going to be applying that right on the middle of my lid. Right there. Oh my goodness. There is literally no fallout with this. Oh my goodness. I am actually shocked. But the color is applying really well on the first go. Like I feel like I really don't need to go in again and reapply this shade. Because look how pigmented that looks. Like that looks amazing. Now I'm just going to go in with the other eye. Oh my gosh guys there is literally no fallout with this i am actually really shocked because literally like applying with this like there is zero fallout oh my goodness and the shades are really nice and pigmented i feel like jacqueline did a really nice job with this palette because it is applying so seamlessly so now i'm just going to go back in with that blender brush i'm just going to gently blend the edges together and I'm just doing this in unidirectional motion. Just like that. Now I'm going to be taking that chocolate shade, which is called Booked. Yes, Booked, this nice chocolate brown. I'm just going to be applying that right on the lower lash line. going to take a fine detail brush and this is the morphe brush um, I don't know the exact number of it but it's a very nice tiny detail brush so I'm just gonna be using this and then I'm going to be taking that same gold shade that we applied birthday suit I'm just gonna be taking that shade I'm just gonna be applying it right on the inner corners of my eye just to give it a really nice shade right in the middle and what this is going to do is just going to help to brighten the inner corners of the eye. And it's also going to match on that inner shade that we applied as well. And that is the eye look. Honestly, I absolutely love 
these colors so much it was so easy to blend I was actually really shocked and there was no fallout so I'm just gonna do my liner and apply lashes and I will be right back and that is the final look guys Okay, so that was the final look of the whole eyeshadow tutorial based on the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. Honestly guys, this palette is amazing. I absolutely love the shades in these. The shades are so pigmented, they are so saturated. There's literally zero fallout in them whatsoever and they blend so effortlessly onto the eyes. Like this has got to be my most favorite eyeshadow look ever. Like I absolutely love it and I kind of love the halo effect too because I don't do it that often. But I feel like I need to do it a lot more because I feel like it just looks so nice, especially when you are doing it with a really good neutrals palette as well. But honestly, these shades are so amazing. I feel like it would suit so many different skin tones. It will suit so many different skin tones because it goes from very light to very dark and there's a really nice mix of browns in there. So I absolutely love this palette. I feel like if you can get your hands on this, definitely get your hands on it because this palette is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. The formulations are amazing. I absolutely love this palette. I am definitely a fan and I will definitely be doing a lot more eye looks like this in the future. So if you guys did enjoy that video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notifications. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below in the comments letting me know what your favorite current eyeshadow palette is. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.